Imagine a world where Donald Trump is no longer president. And if you want to know how to draw and animate a rainbow like that, be sure to stay tuned for this video. Alright, so um, this uh, tutorial is going to be in two parts. In the first part, which is this video, um, I'm going to show you how to draw the rainbow and how to animate it um, uh, in a, uh, appearing in a bow, basically. And in the second part, I'm going to show you how to add uh, some form of magical dust to it. And that is mostly because um, some of you m might not want to have that whole magical dust. Some of you uh, only just want to have uh, to have the rainbow. And so I'll just divide it in two parts. So this is the first part and the second part um, will be uploaded uh, later, um, later uh, uh, in the next week or so. So, so now we start with uh, drawing the rainbow. Um, now, what we need to do, um, we are going to put it uh, behind the grass right here and above the air of course so what we do we make a vector layer and i double click on it and i call it rainbow so um of course uh to know the colors of the rainbow um i was looking on uh google images to see uh how the color colors are divided so you see you start with red and orange and yellow and then the the more dark colors like blue and purple so we just uh, we're going to do it like this um, <clears throat> uh, what we do we take the draw shape tool um, we don't need an auto stroke so that's good uh, we choose rectangle in these and we pick the first color which is going to be red this one right here um, so then I draw a rectangle right here just like this uh, there's no bow yet so we just leave it like this um, then we take the add point tool <coughs> and I zoom in a bit more and make sure that sharp corners is deselected and what I do is just add two points right here then I select these uh, points and I take the transform points tool and I move it up like this um, and I'm not satisfied with the way it's bowed so what I do I take the curvature tool and I click here, here and hold my mouse and move to the right so now it already starts to become a bit better but the problem is of course right here and what we need to do for that is we take the transform points tool and we take this point and we just put it like this and I'm going to put it behind the grass so same for this one And I'm also going to make it a little bit thinner, like this. Alright, so this is the first color, the color red. Uh, now what we are going to do, um, we made it red, but we are going to use uh, the gradient color for it, which is on the effects right here. Um, <clears throat> now, what we need to do for that, we select it, like this and we click on effect and we go to gradient um, and for those who don't know what that is it basically means that uh, you have you can add different colors inside of uh, one uh, object like this one right now so um, first we are going to delete this one the white one so we only have two of them uh, so it's already red and that is uh, what we want of course um, and then we are going to click on allow transparency because that's what we need to do right now <coughs> um, 
and I'm going to make this one uh, transparent so you click on it right here and all you need to do for it is just move this one down below all uh, to the bottom uh, and if you click OK that basically means it becomes transparent so we click OK <clears throat> so now um, it may seem like nothing has changed but you can see that this little thing right here has appeared and you can use this basically to control the direction of the two colors or in this case the color and the transparency so if I move this one I see there's nothing changed yet but that might be because yeah so um, you have to make sure this one is selected uh, transparency so that way you, you actually can see the transparency in case you have the same kind of problems so what you see right now is if I move this um, the object <coughs> becomes transparent and disappears and this way um, we can uh, use that to um, uh, create the animation of the rainbow so what we do um, I put it right here wait um, <clears throat> a little bit closer to this point right here somewhere here and I take this one and I move it down below which makes it entirely invisible like this and um, I go to frame 48 on the timeline <clears throat> and what we do um, I zoom in a bit more I take this one right here the one above the circle above and you move it like this and what you see is that basically it starts to appear like a rainbow um, kind of like uh, the, the famous Disney intro you know so you just move it like this until the very end right here and I'm going to uh, I want to, to I want to have it started from frame 24 so what I do I just select the keyframe right here and I go to edit copy edit and paste <coughs> which means um, <coughs> it will start from there so from frame 0 to frame 24 um, it's all invisible but the moment uh, from 24 this starts to happen so this is the, eff the effect that we want um, now of course the one thing um, that we have to do yet is <coughs> adding the rest of the colors but the reason why we did uh, it with the red one first is because what we are going to do we are going to duplicate um, this object into different colors and when you duplicate it um, the animation that we just created is also added automatically on it so we don't have to do this animation um, over and over again so I'm going to show you how to do that uh, it's pretty simple um, as you can also see it has become invisible on frame zero right now um, <clears throat> but all we need to do for that is just to make transparency uh, deselected so that way it's not transparent anymore um, on the screen um, if you if you want to go get it back you just click on transparency again but uh, it's just to uh, for us to work better so what we do um, we select it and of course we are going back to uh, the Google image uh, of the rainbow right here so you can see the next color uh, under red is orange <coughs> so what we do we select this object we go to edit copy edit and paste and then um, if I move it you can see the second object is created so I'm going to adjust it 
a bit like this and I'm also going to give it um, the color orange already um, now you might be wondering why would I give the fill color um, a orange color uh, because we already have a gradient color uh, that is because um, if you move it like this you don't see the gradient color you see the fill color and so it helps better to uh, to draw everything and to uh, set everything right when you have the, the right colors but anyway um, what we also going to do is change the gradient color of it because that's the color that is visible in the end um, so you click on it and then you click right here and you can see um, that we have the red gradient color because we because that's the color we just made so all we need to do is just change that to the orange color like this there we go click OK like this um, so if, if you go to um, let's see if you go uh, through the timeline um, and uh, you select transparency again um, and we go through the timeline you can see that both orange and red are having the same uh, they're, they're having the same animation again because like I said uh, when you duplicate um, when you duplicate this one um, the animation of it will be uh, duplicated with it itself so that way all we need to do right now is just copy and paste all of these uh, objects and give them different colors and that way um, uh, you get a rainbow that is animated uh, like this so I'm that's what I'm going to do right now so um, I think you know how to do how I do it right now so I'm going to speed up the video and um, uh, add the new colors and then I will be back in a minute alright so I've just uh, as you can see right here I have created all the colors of the rainbow right here uh, the way I've just shown you so um, right now um, if I would play it it still stays the same um, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to export the animation to show you um, how it will look like uh, how it would really look like when you have uh, the video so I'm going to do that right now I'm going to speed up the video again Okay, so I've just exported it. So what I do right now, I'm going to open the file. And if you would play, <coughs> it looks like this. So that's basically how you do it. That's how you animate a rainbow. Um, um, yeah, <laughs> that's how you animate a rainbow. Um, so, like I said, the second part is going to be uh, how to add that magical dust that you saw at the beginning. Um, <coughs> if you are interested in that, if you also want to make something like that. But if this is uh, how you want it, then that's all. Uh, then this tutorial should be enough uh, for you. So, anyway, um, I hope you guys learned a lot about this. Um, if you have any more questions, uh, leave a comment uh, below. And thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, then please subscribe for more. I make new tutorials every week on Wednesday on how to work with Moho 12. Thanks for watching, guys.